Spanish church has cancelled a scheduled screening of an award-winning documentary called Gaza, a look into the eyes of barbarism. The pastor claims the decision has been forced by, quote, the Jewish community. The vicar called me on behalf of Cardinal Osoro to tell me that the screening of the documentary had to be suspended and that there had been a lot of pressure from the Jewish community. That film, which incidentally won Spain's prestigious Goya Award, documents the lives of Palestinians in occupied Gaza as they struggle under Israel's crippling blockade. Its director claimed to us he'd also faced pressure, faced pressure from supporters of Israel too. Israel uses its Jewish organizations which try to censor our film. They tried to do it at various festivals and sometimes they succeeded, even when the film was already on the shortlist. We received many threats. When they make the siege, they make the terrorist. When they make the blockade, when they blockade everything, they make the terrorist. There is no money. We cannot build the houses. We don't have anything to scare, you know. You scare if you're rich, if you have billet, if you have money in the bank. We don't have anything. It means we can do anything. We can do anything. We started planning to make this film after the last Israeli army invasion, when lots of people in Gaza were killed. I am also a biology professor, and we used it to get in. We got permission to research agriculture in Gaza. That's how we got there, but that wasn't easy at all. The Jewish community in Madrid, meantime, thanked the church for suspending the showing of the film about life in Gaza. It also alleges that the documentary is one-sided, too, and said it will launch an appeal with the Goya Film Festival. The director, though, claims he frequently encounters this sort of response and says it's part of a campaign to whitewash Israel's actions. The thing is that there's a total legitimization of Israel's actions and Israeli apartheid. The international community, not entirely, but most of it, especially in Europe and the US, see this situation as legitimate, which we think is totally unacceptable. They do it in different forms, through political recognition, for example, viewing Israel as a close EU ally.